I was in another country and I was on stage playing a show and I could feel my hands start to tense up and uh, I was playing and then I stopped breathing and uh, the promoter of the show pulled me off stage and I went backstage and I was completely white, stiff as a board, having a panic attack, unable to breathe. Well, you know, the other band members were just looking at me like in disbelief that this was happening. And then it kept happening, but I kept it a secret. I mean, nobody knew that I was having panic attacks. I mean, this might even be the first time that I'm even like, tell it. I mean, I, I've told people who are close to me, but I've never actually publicly talked about it because when it's happening, it's the last thing you want to tell somebody. It's like, I'm having a panic attack. They're going to be like, well, what's wrong with you? You know, like, well, how can I help? And then them asking you, how can I help? Just sends you into like, uh, uh, and then you completely shut down. I was lucky that I saw a therapist who was able to recognize that that's what was going on and that could label it as like, you have panic attacks and it's caused by this and this and this, and then you can't focus and get anything done because you have attention deficit disorder. So then you're like, oh, okay. Well, I'm still not ready to talk about it with anybody because what's the first thing, I'm not gonna go up to my friends and be like, hey everyone, you know, here I am. I've got attention deficit disorder, pay attention to me. It's not. It's, it's not like that, it was more like, no one can know that I'm on medication and no one can know that I'm having panic attacks. And then when the medication made the panic attacks worse, it was just like, oh, now no, now really no one can know. Like I cannot talk about this with anybody except for my therapist. There needs to be a public discussion about the problems that you have so that you can not only relate to other people, but then you could find new friends in those people and you, you, you have this common thread where you can be like, oh, you have this problem too, let's talk about it. Let's like go hang out and get lunch. You know, then you you form strong friendships that way too. So like, I don't know, we, we need to talk about it and we need to be friendly towards it and we need to not be judgmental. I, I feel like if I had known that a couple years ago, that that was okay and that was a way of dealing with it, then it wouldn't have felt, I wouldn't have felt so outcast. Or I wouldn't have felt like such a freak to myself. You know, like I wouldn't have felt like having panic attacks was really wrong and like not being able to focus was so bad. You know, like I, you immediately put a negative stamp on everything and maybe that's because that's the way we view it as a society. But if we, if we had just talked about it in school, I feel like this would, be, this would have been a non-issue or it would have been less of an issue because I would have had some way of dealing with it. It's gotta start there. I, I feel like that's a huge, huge part of why I, of why I want to talk about it and why I think people need to talk about it more.